Buga. 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 Mommy, five from coffee. Five to my sugar. This is what I am, and I'm at the market. I want to buy what I am to so ask for the price. In fact, I was trying to like ask the woman to reduce price on because me has a big price for this Ibado. Um, she said this one is going for 600 and I expect her to sell it 500 but she was telling, showing me another one that is for 500 I don't really like that. So I think I'm going for this one. So I'm buying this one. This is 600 actually. This is what I am. This is what I am. This is what I am. And you know what I am? We usually use it to cook. I kokore. Elumi. One fish i kokore. One fish i ojojo. But today, this what I am is not for ojojo. It is not for i kokore. This is what I am. We are going to boil. Ama si lason adi magjebe. So we are just going to boil it and enjoy it. If you have been eating what I am, just boil what I am and eat it in your area. You can share in my comment section. Let's know those that eat. My club that enjoy what are ah, yeah. So this is what I am. I'm just going to show you the simple way you're going to boil your what I am, and you, it's going to taste like the real yam, and you're going to enjoy. You know, like normal what I am. Let's talk a little about what I am. Um, when you slice what I am, it's going to have this slimy, and it's going to look like it's water, but not this time around. I'm going to show you to make sure that that slimy aspect. You can't feel it. And when you boil your yam, it's going to taste like normal yam. So let's ride on. Let's cook water yam and enjoy as yam. If you're watching Ojela Quick Space, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. And if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you so much for your love. Let's ride on to... All I need to do now is to cut the what i am so i'm going to cut it and that's i'm going to dice it into the sizes then now when you're trying to dice your cocoa and what i am please make sure that it is not so tiny make sure it is big if you cut it so tiny it you're not going to get that result of getting this perfect yam that we are going to go because actually like i said before what i am is for uh, making of cocoa red and other recipe which gives a very tasty recipe but today is just that i want show to show you how you can dice your what i am now this is the last side that is the back side this is how it looks like so to be sure that yes ojalakwe space is actually cutting what i am not the normal yam they will call there's one yam we call abuja yam or all this normal regular yam this particular one this is what i am so i really want to show that okay you're seeing that this is what i am it's not any other yam this type of yam is called what i am i have to say it over and over again because a lot of people can argue with you and tell you no it's not possible you can't cook what i am you as in you can't boil what i am like the normal way you boil yam but i will tell you today that you can boil your what i am even with the scarcity of yam now as in being that this is not the season and the price of the normal yam you can have this in substitute you can still enjoy yam eating your what i am So after 
peeling you make sure you wash thoroughly i like making sure that i don't have any dirt inside my yam so i have to sure to get my knife all over again and check those parts that i've missed when i was peeling and be sure that every part those black spots i try as much as possible to make sure that i remove every part because I hate seeing dirt in my yam. So that's what we have just done. So when you're true with washing your yam, I like washing. Now for water yam, you really need to wash very well because once you are holding it, it's going to be slimy. So you need lot and lot of water to rinse your water yam. You have to rinse it. You don't just slice and de like the normal yam that you just put them on the pot and start cooking no you have to watch because once you are watching you even feel it it's sliming so i'll make sure i wash and make sure that i wash today so that when i feel the yam itself is not slimy it's firm in my hand it's so firm so i'll make sure that's what i'll be doing for all the pieces of yam i'll just make sure that everything is thoroughly <music> I'm going to show you the evidence that this is what I am. If it is what I am, just using your hand alone to scrape it. See, it's going to be slimy. Can you see? So it shows that this is what I am. I'm actually cooking. It be, you know, normal what I am, we grate it to make our ikokore, to make our it get so slimy. So that's why I'm trying to show that, to confirm that this is what I am. This is not the normal I am. So that is what I'm trying to show at this place. So I'm still going to make sure each one, I make sure I rinse them thoroughly. You have to do that. that. After it has been thoroughly rinsed and you're sure it's okay, it's firm in your hand, then you put your water on it, bring it to boil and add your hot water. I'm adding my hot water not on fire, just inside the bowl. I want that, that sliming aspect to really reduce i'm just leaving it like you see now i'm leaving it inside this bowl i'll just leave it it's not for so long just add make sure that the water is very very hot and you pour it so it's going to make um the water i am one drink then two some little stash that is those slimy aspects they are going to come out so that when you are eating your yam it will not feel like this um it's have this um chaka chaka taste ah shemogba it's just you are, when you're eating it, you'll be feeling it just like it's not really giving you that soft yam taste. So that is what I've just done. That's why I added my hot water. It's not really for so long, just for to make the final raising of your yam. Then when you are done with that, you just place it inside your pot. So I'm going to be placing them direct from that hot water. I'm going to be placing them, arranging them inside my pot to boil my yam. <music> For my water I am, all I need to add is my onion. I add my diced onions. Then I add salt to taste. That's just the normal way you prepare your regular yam. Just add your onion. You add salt just when you're boiling your yam. And that is all that it needs. Once you've added your salt, your onion, I think it's very, very okay. You don't need to add any other spice or anything unless maybe you want to cook porridge. But if you are cooking porridge, which means you've converted it to the normal awa ijebu ikokore. Uh,
What I am is boiling, so but it's not soft, so I just still cover it and I like to boil very well. Now, checking it again, we checking it with fork, it is very soft and it is ready. <music> This is good, I am. There's something about um, me eating yam with palm oil. I love it so much. I love it so much. Ah, if I see yam and palm oil like this, I like it just because um, I think palm oil has a lot of health benefits, even without cooking with it. So I like taking it because, you know, normally I can't just take palm oil and drink. I don't really like it. But when I have the opportunity of having yam, then I believe that is the right time for me to take my raw palm oil. So I'm eating this what I am boiled yam with my palm oil. I love it so much. But please, if I come to your house, don't give me yam and palm oil. I'm a jam. You go quarry. Give me yam and egg. But for yeah. Now, me I want use palm oil tea chopper. So come along with me. Oh, so yummy. Mm. See? And it's so good. So, write it in the comment section if you have ever boiled what I am and cook it. It's a man penny issue. Wura, the party says she will last some teddy, Jacqueline, who are better quailing you, a better quailobe. You can just write in the comment section. Let's see those of us that takes what I am and pour and eat it without using to perform any miracle. So let me buga with my what I am. Come along, come and join me. Hmm, tastes so fine. Hmm. Thank you so much for coming to watch your Jola Queen Space. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. Till I see you in my next video. I say bye. Otuni. Bango. Shutu sunu epo. Otu. This is so soft and so sweet. Mm. Come and join me. My parents should go. Why they not let us buy correct yam? The correct yam now three. They go tell say three now for two five three thousand. But this one, this just three pieces that you saw me cut. They are selling it six hundred naira, five hundred naira. So there is no scarcity of yam for me. <laughs>